Qatar is a nation dedicated to the spirit and ideals of fair play in sport. These ideals are upheld in the Qatar National Vision 2030. They are also the principles behind the science behind the sport. In the full-time operation of the world's latest anti-doping lab in Qatar, since the hugely successful 2006 Asian Games, Qatar is now known as the region's best host for international sporting federations and sporting tourism, paving the way for thousands of competitions to come. Sport for societies becomes really the showcase of achievement of human activities. People have talent. They work so hard and they achieve glories. So this is why integrity is so important in the field sport because it is a model for the rest of society as well. As part of Qatar 2030, a master plan was developed for Qatar to become a leader in excellence in all aspects of sport, nationally and internationally. This strategy has seen the creation of the Aspire Sports Academy, opened in 2014, and Aspitar, a world-leading orthopedic and sports medicine hospital. The third vital element in this vision was realized with the opening of the anti-doping laboratory Qatar, ADLQ, in 2012. Having a laboratory for anti-doping in uh, this region was always a, uh, a discussion among regional anti-doping organization for GCC and Yemen and for the national anti-doping organizations in the region. It's always been a dream for His Highness the Emir uh, since the late 90s to have such a laboratory in Qatar. Since inauguration, the ADLQ has rapidly grown and established its place as the region's leader in the science behind the sport. Science behind the sport is not only the science of catching the cheats. Of course, it's important, but there is lots of science in sport. Uh, the sport itself is a science. Then the movement and the mobility of athletes is a science. Then the performance of the athlete and their well-being is a science. If you want to go beyond and to be on the top, science has to be part of that. You can't reach the top without science. In a few short years, ADLQ has successfully established itself as the internationally accredited anti-doping laboratory for the Gulf countries and West Asia. It's very important to have an independent testing facility in uh, Qatar, not for Qatar only, but for the whole region. And as uh, we all know that uh, anti-doping lab Qatar is serving Qatar and the GCC region, as well as the whole Middle East, the whole of West Asia and North Africa now. We are proud to be of the same standard of the elite laboratories. Uh, and we also consider ourselves as a one network and one group that works to the same cause. A major milestone for the ADLQ was reached when its doping analysis laboratory was awarded full WADA accreditation. ADLQ, when accredited, became the 35th accredited laboratory by WADA. Uh, that definitely makes it uh, an elite institute. To be one of 35 around the whole world uh, is an honorable thing by itself. The accreditation uh, process uh, took us uh, two and a half years, which is considered to be a very quick period of time. It is a very strict procedure that it is followed by all accredited laboratories. We have created a name for ADLQ, not just in Qatar, but all over the world. Our communication section um, have created a huge platform with clients, educational institutions and media contacts. ADLQ is independently funded, reporting directly to the Emir of the State of Qatar. Testing for doping in sport, the labs have to be independent, does not belong to any sporting body. At the same time, they are tested regularly, internationally from WADA, and then accredited by WADA. As part of its commitment to the four pillars of the Qatar 2030 vision, the ADLQ has a strong program of nurturing Qatari employees. Mentoring Qatari scientists or Qatari nationals in general is uh, one of our five strategic objectives. We have two PhD graduates who are fully grown in ADLQ. We're very proud that more than 50% of our staff are Qataris, including the scientists. 
Qatari scientists uh, are working uh, in our uh, laboratory and uh, in our team and have been trained all these uh, two and a half years. They are creating the basis for the long term of the lab, not only for this generation of scientists, but also for the future generations of scientists. I am a Qatari scientist. I work in doping analysis lab, especially in IRMS. Uh, the technique used to distinguish between endogenous and exogenous compound intake, and I love what I do. Along with state-of-the-art facilities and technology, the ADLQ scientists, technicians and researchers are among the best in the world. As well as its testing capabilities, the ADLQ is proving its value to the nation by also being a leader in research and education roles, marking the next phase of the ADLQ's development the laboratories of the Life Sciences and Research Division provide independent scientific research and education to the public and private sectors. It's one of our strategic goals to be financially sustainable uh, through generating income, through establishing uh, a toxicology and multipurpose lab uh, to add to the revenue we get. We provide analysis for different disciplines uh, environmental health and industrial hygiene, food safety and security. We also provide clinical toxicology and forensic uh, toxicology for any kind of uh, biological biomarkers that is needed in medicine. We look at mechanisms and the effects of these dopants on the physiology and metabolism right across the spectrum to the amateur athlete as well. We certainly contribute significantly to Qatari academic capacity building. We also help uh, make ADLQ financially sustainable by contributing through various patents that are currently pending with commercial potential. In terms of our corporate social responsibility, we have created something called Café Scientifique where we invite uh, professionals uh, to speak about things interesting for the country. We have the only building of its type within the state of Qatar to have uh, technology utilizing RFID, which is radio frequency identification. We exactly can monitor the location and who handled every single sample by the second. Being a trustworthy, credible, uh, with integrity, uh, will rise ADLQ to achieve and accomplish their goals and objectives. Our aim goal here to get honest competition with fair sport and uh, with the free doping. The world-class anti-doping lab Qatar has taken its place amongst the world's leading anti-doping facilities. Qatar's principles of the science behind the sport will ensure the continuing development of economic, social, environmental and human prosperity in Qatar and the region, bringing the world together through sport. Be pure. Stay pure.